Uh, hi guys, Blocky T here. Uh, we're doing some 1v1 jousts, and I, I played a practice match before, and wouldn't you know it, it's a reaper. <laughs> I literally just played this guy. Like, I, I played a practice match before, so, you know, I wouldn't be total crap. Well, I got a private message from now. But, um, actually, what's his name? Lara Matos 2000. Okay. There we go. 2000. We meet again. He's not found. Maybe it's this. Larry Motos. 200. We meet again. Am I sp La Larry. Oh. Larry Matos. Okay. Larry <laughs> Matos. We meet. Screw it. Screw it, game started. I'll text him later. Uh but yeah, we're playing John Quee. And this is actually this actually has a specific purpose. I'm not just gonna play as John Quee. I'm going to attempt to teach you how to counter him, because I honestly do feel kind of bad that I'm playing him in one v one joust, and especially against the guy I just beat. Like that, I honestly feel like well, rematch again. All right. Oh hey, it's gonna be interesting at least. Oh, uh, he's probably getting damaged. Oh uh, yeah, I just I honestly just played a game against this guy, like twenty seconds ago. I pro that's probably when I got out of it. But yeah, uh, on to talking about how to counter John Kui. And almost positive that's how you say his name. I should be. Uh, there he is. Uh, so John Kui, he gets passive protections from his passive. I mean, I guess that's the only way I can say it. He gets passive protections from his passive. Uh, for each soul he rips out the enemy. And to rip out a soul, he's gotta do this. He's gotta hit them with his one. If they don't have the tag on them, then they're not being he's not healing from them and he's not getting souls from them. And that's as an important point, he does heal. Um, yeah, Jean Kui, he is all about his one. When the mi enemy minions or enemy gods are affected with his one and he uses his two on them, he sucks out their soul. Well, the demons inside of them, really. Uh and he gets health from that and they go into his demon bag and each demon in his demon bag gives him three protection up to a total of 60 protections total ooh that was sneaky uh-huh yeah up to a total to a total of 60 max and yeah that that's pretty that's just his passive and he also relies on the demons in his demon bag for his ultimate because his ultimate is recall demons which I'm actually going to use that now. And he's dead. Yeah. <coughs> Same thing happened last time, actually. It's a little funny. He's got to be careful when he gets to level 5 not to try to clear waves like that. Um, but yeah, so to get his path passive, uh, I'm going to try to lead him out of here. Uh, hopefully. Oh, shoot, he got me. Oh, I'm going to die. Yep. Um... We'll grab that. But to get... So, I hope I've... <clears throat> I, I haven't really conveyed. But I'm trying to convey that it's very important that he hits the minions with his one and gets their souls in his bag. Because that's how his alt works and that's how his passive works. If he doesn't have demons in his bag, he can't use his ultimate. And he doesn't have any sort of passive protection. And he really needs that passive protection because he has literally no escape. The only way that you can kind of have... Okay. Uh... Yeah, the only way you can have an escape on this guy is literally by hitting them with your one, thereby slowing them down, and then just trying to walk away. But so since you need d demons in your bag so much, you try you need to get as many as you can off of each wave. And to do that, pretty much every John Kui I think will do what I've been doing. He'll send his tag straight up the row of minions, then go either to the left or right and aim his two at them, like so. <laughs> That's the way you get the most minion. It, you're guaranteed. You're almost guaranteed six or seven ghosts, even, which is 
spectacular, honestly. But every Jean-Cui will do that every time. If he's playing very passive, if his demon bag is full and he doesn't need more in his bag, uh, he may just hit the first three, and you know, not much of a counter with that, but then that's that's not going to do a lot. It's not going to hit the archers at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I guess you can see Fenrir's way clear too. He jumps onto the archers and tries to nom everybody else. I could probably kill him right now. Oh, well, I'm not going to. Uh, whoop! Good in there, archers. Uh huh. But yeah, so you just have to predict that movement. If I, if like you see him moving to the left, I mean, Fenrir should be hitting me with a brutalize or something, because he could land that pretty much every single time. And he's not, which isn't surprising, because a lot of people don't know how to counter John Kui yet. So that's the first way to counter him. Watch his wave clear combo. If you can mess that up, you can mess his whole gameplay up. Oh, I can't do that. Sucker. Oh, we're gonna turn this around. Yep. We'll grab some souls off of that, but yeah. And that's another counter to John Kui. His ultimate. It's very powerful. It's a lot more powerful in team fights than in 1v1, but shoot, you can use it. Um, but once you start his ultimate, the best way to counter it, like Fenrir has a leap, and I'm wait I'm trying to wait until it's on the cooldown to use it. But the best way to counter John Kui's ultimate, just jump out of it. There's nothing stopping you. I mean, he can't cripple you, so if you have a leap, you just jump on out of there. Yeah. <coughs> so if he uses, and that's the thing, during his ultimate, let's say he has 20 demons in his bag, the max, he'll have 60 protections. At the first, second starting point, how did they do that? That was literally like the worst you can do, like clearing wave-wise. Um, at the start of his ultimate, his protections double, so he'll have 120. But they drain away at a really, really rapid rate of like, I don't know, like probably 12 a second, or even more. So at the end of this ult, he'll be left very squishy, no protections, very tasty, very easy to munch on. That's why I'm trying not to use my ult until I know I can get a kill. Yeah, see, Fenrir is doing good here. He just went straight for me. That's good, because John Kui, I mean, he heals and stuff, but at the bottom of he's still squishy. Now, what I would not recommend doing, that what Fenrir is doing, is this, he's just letting me wheel on me with my auto attacks. Nip out of there. Not dealing with this great. Uh-huh. But, what I would hardly recommend, like, if, if it's especially, if it's the heal that's bugging you, if it's the heal that like you keep damaging Zong, but he he's just keeps healing himself, get a healing reduction item. Get Brawler's Beat Stick. Oh, see Fenrir was smart, he got out. I had to use my ult to counter his, which I should have had purification beads. Uh, yeah. He's immune to crowd control during his ult last around what, six seconds I think? He's dead. Yep, tag got him. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that tag. You get it with that tag, you screw. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, ways to counter. I'm just recapping so I don't forget anything. Uh, when he does his combo, counter his combo. Just wail on him. I mean, if I, I know that if I hit a wave with my tag and somebody just start basic attacking me, I probably wouldn't go for the wave. I'd either back off, I'd either get healed, but if he would buy, he's using the same build as his last time. I think he's just using the recommended. Um, if he would buy Brawler's Beat Stick, that would be just phenomenal for him. Because, like, all those heals I got back there, I would only got half of those. Or, say, if you're playing, like, oh, I, just, I don't know, Kronos or something. Like, just any magical mage. <laughs> magical, as opposed to physical mages. Uh, get Divine Room, get Brawler's Beat Stick. They're cheap, they're decent items, and they're passive, which is really puts Zong Kui back. Because, I mean... Pretty much every bit of his sustain comes from the fact that just once it just comes from the fact that a heal off of the waves too. It, those waves are just so important to me, and I was just going for the tower there. <laughs> you know, I might have been able to kill him there if I used my all, but that would have been silly. All right, let's get some wall of absolution going. And actually, in some. We need those too. Uh, so yeah, counter his combo. Get Brawler's Beat Stick, please. 
Divine Rune, Brawler's Beat Stick, they're cheap. They give you physical power and crit and lifesteal and everything. Why wouldn't you get them if they have a healer? It'll it'll just screw them up so badly. I mean, just, that, yeah, so, that's an, I guess, tactics ways to counter John Kui. Counter his combo. When he uses his ult, get out of there, and then just wail on him after it's over, because he'll be very squishy. He'll have very low amount of protections. Bye. Bye again. Yeah, I really want to get Gem of Isolation. But, <coughs> yeah. So, yeah, wait for his ult to go out. And, like, some songs, they won't use their ult. It's just to keep the physical protections. But you know what? That works. That works perfectly fine. But at the same time, then they lose a lot of burst damage. Man, those archers are wailing on them. Uh, I could get a kill, but I don't want to. I, I'm getting the feeling he may surrender at 10. So I don't want that to happen. I still have more stuff to say. So, build wise. If you're having trouble, if he's not using his ult at all, you just can't get through his penetrate. You can just can't, like, say, like, I'm buying a defense item. If you just can't get through his passive and the defense item, get Executioner, get, like, he's, he's using the recommended build, it's working well. He's got a lot of penetration. I mean, once Executioner gets maxed out, I'll start taking a lot more damage from his basic attacks. I'm countering it with Wall of Absolution, but, yeah, see, he just maxed it out. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt me a lot. I'm gonna, I'm countering it with Wall of Absolution, which increases my defense. But, not sure how that actually works. Like, he gets Executioner, I get Wall of Absolution. What happens? Oh, I missed a little bit. Dang it. But yeah. And especially, like me, I'm building tanky. You might even want to get Chin's Blades if he's got a lot of health. Just anything to help him do more damage. Uh -huh. <laughs> I out-level him now, so... Oh, shoot. Oh. And we'll hit him with that. And a little bit of this. And he's dead. That's the thing. Zong is a close range mage. Do not push him. It, it, uh, if you're melee, this is a very unfavorable matchup for him. I feel bad about that. Go back. Cap off my tier. Just don't rush him. Build physical penetration and wait for an opening. Uh, last game, I actually went like 3 and 6 instead of going 4 2 now. So he was definitely killing more than I was killing him. I was just. I'm a more experienced player than this guy. So. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm so unorganized. I guess I'll just. In the video, I'll put like skip to minute 20 for actual countering. <laughs> Literally like the worst. Stun. Exorcism ever. Oh my god, that was so bad. Um, yeah. So in your build, just just go for penetration. Brawler's beat stick would be doing wonders for him right now. I, I'm very. Well, I tried to private message him at the beginning, but you don't understand. I'm tempted to private message him now and tell him, hey, you should get Brawler's beat stick. It'll help you out a lot. Trust me. Yeah. Oh yeah, and if you're a mage, don't trade blows with Zonquay. He's better than you, <laughs> but he does have a boost to his auto attacks. They do like 150. What do they do? They do like 50 damage of my basic attack damage, which that scales off a of magical power. So that's a little quick, right? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, but like even I have Warlock Sash right now. He should be building differently, and I always waste my Paul Nobcon minions. But he should be getting Brawler's Beat Stick, Chin's Blades. Bye. Yeah, he should be getting Brawler Speed Sticks, Chin's Blades. There's anything to help. If I could hit him, goodness. Uh, there we go. Oh, if we got that, he'd have been so dead. Yeah. yeah. It's just thinking, you're, you're facing a tanky mage, which, that sounds like, that honestly does sound like a nightmare. But just remember. Play smart. Wait for until he uses an ult. And if he doesn't use his ult, just build super high penetration. Trust me, it'll work. <laughs> I, I've been shut down very hard as Zong. Just by, just like that. Just by people who would build high penetration. And generally, I didn't out level them. Like, I'm around like two levels higher than this guy. And, yeah. Yeah, I mean, really. And another thing about Zong. Oh, hi, Dishy Lemon. 
I really should make this like a, a lot more organized. And I make this into a series like countering. You know. Especially on new guys like him. Um but yeah. So yeah, I guess I'll just go over his pros and cons. His pros. Good damage. High defense. Go away. Yeah. Good damage, high defense, high burst, which is great. Did I hit him? No. Um, but the thing is, I'm so, I keep saying like, what the thing? I'm so unorganized. I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah. Um, I guess this will be it. This is 15 minutes in. Let's just say, here's how it's gonna do. To counter Zong, he uses his one-two combo where he just sends it. Can I hit him? No, I can't. Let me go. He really should have attacked me there. Does he have frostbound hammer? That might hate him. That might hope. Zong is already such a slow character. If he got frostbound hammer, I would slow him down a lot. One of Zong's big weaknesses is he has no mobility. He can't move. He has a slow movement speed. Yeah, you can have it. He has a slow movement speed to begin with. Like right now, I have boots and I'm I'm moving at a decent clip. That Fenrir, like any really mobile person, easily outrun me. Like I say, Abaka Sir would just totally run me down. It actually happened a couple days ago. That's why I mentioned it. But yeah, it, it's just a speedy character can run him down. He's unable to recover from bad positioning, and if he drops his ultimate, he can just get out of there, smash him up. I'm so disorganized. I've said like the same four or five things like eight times, and I don't even know. Countering John Queer. Yeah, he, I'm really tempted to just tell him to go by Brawler's Beat Stick. I'm just using that. I don't want to actually. Oh, did I get in like a second before my minions did? Uh. Yes! Not even man. Alright, let's get out of here. You know. Oh no, he got me. <laughs> oh well. Uh, if you want to escape with Zong and you have Gem of Isolation, you can hit them with your tag and then just book it. Because they'll be slowed by 50% for like 6 seconds. So, that's pretty good slow. Yeah, this is a bad video. I should have just written this out. Normally when I do form like stuff like this, I write out a script. I write out something to let you know what's gonna go on. So I don't ramble like this and repeat the same thing five times. <sighs> then we get Rod the Hoodie next. That sounds good. Oh, and they're at my doorstep. Alright. Yeah, just countering Zonk. Guys, he's not really OP. He's in a good spot. Maybe a slight nerf is necessary. But not a big one. I mean, granted, a lot of pro players are like, oh, he needs a nerf, but you just have to know how to counter him. He's just, he's kind of a pub stomper. Like, people could even say, like, Bast OP, Arachne OP, which I would be true early game. That That's the point of those gods. Good early game, bad late game. Um, yeah. But really, you just have to know how to counter. Build penetration. When he gets out of position, just wait. You can just beat the crap out of it, man. I guarantee it. Oh, I always hit a minion with Fall No Con instead of him. There we go. Let's do some more damage. Maybe I should get like Demonic Grip or something, because I'm just like wailing on it. <laughs> nope, you're dead. Got him. Alright, guys, that's probably going to be game over. So I'll reveal what I've said real quickly, real quickly. To counter Zong, when he does when he does this combo, when he shoots his tag down the middle, he goes to decide to use his exorcism, punish him for it, hit him with basic attacks like Fenrir. When I do that, he should be using Brutalize, he should be using just everything he's got, just trying to keep me from that. And to make that effective, he should be getting more penetration. He's using the recommended build, so I can't really do anything about that. I mean, so, I mean, he can't really do any... Oh, wow, my ear just popped. Now it's ringing in my ear. Uh, he can't really do anything about, like... If he's using the recommended build, he doesn't really know how to build. Um, but he should be getting more penetration. Even Lifesteal would help him keep up with my sustain. But Brawler's Beat Stick would just mess me up. 
Nick, I'm not as reliant on healing as Aphrodite, but my sustain relies upon getting that little extra oh, bit of lag there, getting that extra heal. So getting a Brawler's Beat Stick. It's a, if you're physical, get Brawler's Beat Stick. Hit him up with your basic attacks. If you're magical, get Divine Ruin to slap him up. If you have dot damage, damage over time, then, like, Poseidon's Whirlpool. Stuff that does a little bit of damage, but, like, once every two seconds. So that's up to a lot. Do stuff like that. And if you eat, you know, like, Spear of the Magus, anything, really. And we'll take this out. There we go, bye bye. Uh huh. Yeah, just spirit of magic, just build penetration. It's it's not that hard. He's dead. Trap. I can't believe we got the I got the same guy again. Oh, yeah, that's a surrender. So yeah, counter his combo. When you choose to tag down the middle, he's either gonna go left or right, hit him, make him pay for it. Get Brother's Beat Stick to reduce his healing if he goes through with that combo. When he uses his ult, jump out of it. He literally can't do anything if you just jump or dash out of it. Get combat blink, that might help. If he doesn't use his ult to keep his passives, to keep his passive defense, then build penetration, executioner. Or your Tabi. Demonic grip if you're a Nato attack mage. Just really, it, he's not that hard to counter. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was a really boring video. I just, I said the same ten things over and over, and that's the second time I said that, so. Alright, thank you guys for bearing through that. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.